A famous YouTuber that goes behind the name Unsupervised Learning had created this open source framework for augmenting humans using AI. This is where I would like to introduce Fabric. Fabric is providing this modular framework for solving specific problems using crowdsourced set of AI prompts that can be used anywhere. In simple terms, it's an open source AI framework that can automate your life and you can basically automate almost every task on your computer. And it's actually insane. Huge props to Daniel, who is actually the creator of this project. And he is someone who has been working on this over the past couple of months. And I thought it would be pretty cool to take a look at this because a lot of my subscribers have been telling me to take a look at this. Definitely give him a subscribe. But just take a look at this video, which is going to showcase a little bit more about what you can do with Fabric. So I've got this video here. I have loved this video for a long time. I think it came out in 2023 sometime. This is a one and a half hour video. Let, let me just show you what they talk about in this thing. We've got philosophy, creativity recession, conspiracies, how you structure your life. The point is this thing is an hour and 24 minutes long. It's got a million pieces of wisdom in there. How often can you watch this video? First of all, do you even have an hour and a half to go and watch the video in the first place? A lot of people don't. I don't have time to go and watch this thing 20 times. I don't have time to watch 30 or 20 or 50 of these a week. So look what I could do. I copy the video URL. I'm going to jump over to my shell. And then I could do this. So I can run this command, uh, PT. This actually just pulls the transcript, pull text. It pulls the transcript. And here's what it does by itself. So that just pulled the transcript. And if you look at this thing, um, word count with words, I think it's like 16,000 words. Yeah, 16,468 words. That's, that's a lot of content. Well, I want to know, this is the origin story for this first pattern I'm going to show you. The pattern is called extract wisdom. I think we might have seen it scrolling by when we were looking at the patterns earlier. So this thing, you run like this fabric. We're going to do streaming, we're going to do pattern and extract wisdom. And what's cool about this is I created it so that it would emulate what I would do if I were to manually take notes. I love the idea of manually taking notes, watching slow, pausing, slow it down, go back, think about it, take some more notes. So I'm trying to emulate that process. And if a video is an hour and a half long, it's going to take at least that long to take long detailed notes. So I, I wanted to emulate that with AI. And that is one of the first patterns that I created for Fabric. So check this out. It is now pulling the content again. It is now sending it into Fabric. And watch what it does. Gives me a summary first. Okay, pretty cool intro sentence here. Ideas. The West is perceived as dying due to a culture that celebrates mediocrity and suppresses individual greatness. Real Key's poetry. Look at this. This, this is gold here, absolute gold. Then it goes into not just the ideas, which are the most important, but then it goes into quotes. And this could have come from either side of the conversation, anybody who was participating in the conversation. Then it goes into their habits. What, what types of things do they do? Because I'm looking for opportunities to improve my life, going back to the first thing we talked about. So if I find out that I run this against a hundred different things and I find out that they all wake up and get sun in their eyes, which probably I got from running extract wisdom on a Huberman video. But anyway, if those add up enough, then they become something that I would update my routine with. Then it goes into facts. So these are like third party verifiable facts that maybe I didn't know about, but they just happen to mention and I find interesting. So that's one that is called extract wisdom. 
Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, I definitely recommend that you watch the full video because he goes further in depth and he also has multiple other videos which showcase a lot of other demos of what you can do with Fabric. But what we're going to be doing throughout today's video is showcasing how you can actually install it and just briefly going over what this framework is about. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Fabric. Now, before we move on to the installation, I want to basically focus and highlight the philosophy behind this framework because it's kind of unique. Now, since 2023, we all know that there was a rise in generative AI and it led to the creation of multiple different types of AI applications. But integrating these applications into our daily lives was quite difficult. And the main reason why Fabric was created was to solve this pain point where it enabled a granular application of AI to everyday challenges. So what they've done is that they've basically introduced all these different types of patterns that Fabric is going to try to solve in our lives. In simple terms, it's going to automate almost any task we might have on our computer. So let's just get started. What you're going to need to do is have the latest version of python installed you need to make sure that you have at least python 3.10 installed and you also need to make sure that you have git installed once you have these two pre prerequisites installed we can then move forward with the installation process in this case what you want to do first is copy this command over here which is cloning this project to your computer so what you want to do is open up command prompt this is if you have windows and once you do open up command prompt you want to just paste this command in and clone this repository this will take a couple of minutes to a couple seconds and once that's finished installing this repository what we can do is go into this directory which is the fabric directory and we can do that by simply typing in cd fabric once that's finished cloning so once it has finished this i'll be right back and there we go so what we can do now is just type in cd fabric and then click enter once that is done we can then go and install with pip so what we can do is you need to make sure that you are using wsl and follow the linux instructions for windows but if you have mac os you would just simply follow through with this this example over here or this code over here and if you have linux you would obviously follow through with this command over here but since we have windows we're going to be following through with this command over here and we're going to be pasting it into our command prompt so now that we have it installed what we can do now is just run it up so what we can do is just copy this command which is the run setup command and then we can just paste it in click enter what you're going to need to do next is then restart your shell and reload everything and then you can have it running right away but you need to also set your api key you can utilize OpenAI's api key or you can also utilize other large language models but i recommend that you use anthropic or OpenAI's api key and then you can do so by just using this command if you're on Linux or Mac OS. But if you're on Windows, you can just type in set open AI underscore API underscore key equals and then your token. And that's how you can set your key. And then you can easily load it up with the base commands that are here. So I will leave a link to their GitHub repository as they have a lot of different uh, prompts that will basically help you automate various tasks. And that's about it for today's video guys there's a lot more information on the github repository and there's a lot more information on his youtube channel as in the creator of this project and i truly recommend that you definitely watch his videos because he goes further in depth on his own project and he goes over each and every prompt more thoroughly so i definitely recommend that you watch his video which i'll leave a link to in the description below as well as their github repository but with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. This is a great way for you to automate various sorts of tasks on your computer. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Patreon. This is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe 
turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.